Hello everybody and welcome back to more Misfit Challenge. This is my first video being recorded after vacation. Anyway, if I remember correctly, the last thing I had to do was fight the dude, my father. Yeah, him. Normally. And I'm pretty sure I already chose the best team possible, but I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. It's not the teeter dance, I don't really think I can set up using the fighting type, it's kinda something that I'd like to do, but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I remember last time I lost to do that too. And I don't remember how and I don't think you'd be a very good start of Pokemon. I think I'm gonna start off with I'm a psych. Don't ask why, but I think he's Wish me luck, because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do pretty well in this, I mean... Oh, if my commentary isn't up to snuff either, I have a serious headache right now. And I'm not supposed to be recording with a headache, but still. I have some free time before school starts up. So I might as well use it, right? So what I'm gonna do is try to... What I'm gonna do is try to make sure that I can... Take them down smartly, that is. Right now, their Pokemon are higher level than us, stronger than us. In other words, the Misfit Challenge, the Misfit in Misfit Challenge is happening right about now. And there isn't much we can do about that. I meant the Challenge in Misfit Challenge, but you know, you guys know what I mean. Oh, so close on the psych, so close. Which means at this point in time, we're very much disadvantage. You can't do much against these guys. And why the hell is this thing? Oh, I see. Give me a second. All right. And here I was hoping for an easy battle. Oh, big confusion. After all the work I'm a side did. Come on. Are you kidding me, Shrock? Great. This is just perfect. I really, really hate Spinna. Spinda. There we go. Drop some rocks on it. Nice. Lowered speed. I mean. I honestly don't know how we're going to deal with the rest of them, but... This battle is definitely not going to be easy at all. I definitely am supposed to have more than half of your speed. That's right, Strap. Sure, why don't that? Alright, so that's one down. Hmm. Slacking? Already? Alright, this might work in our favor. I was usually, I was gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna slide on, but I think I'm gonna go with Rock Tomb. Gonna try to slow it down as much as possible. But since Strat just looks, oh, it went for a counter. Strat, let's go for a much lap. I'm gonna try to lower its accuracy as much as possible too. It's really going to mainly concentrate on... Oh, there it goes. Good job, Strack. Good job. Alright. Who am I going to use now? Fatman Man's a risk, but he just attacked with me. Fatman Man has a clear shot at it. So let's go. Fake it out. Oh, snap. That was a bad move. Should have just gone for the... Oh... I definitely was not counting on that one. Alright. Let's intimidate it. I definitely don't think Swampy is going to bring through this battle at all. So I'm going to try to do as much damage as possible. I definitely should have concentrated on having its speed more than anything else, but... 
Eh. What can you do? Good job, Black Bob. What is that? A berry? Really? Oh, great, a citrus berry to make things worse. Alright, Palo, let you're up. Kind of fool to let anyone drop sleep in this rattle. Well, my problem with this battle is going to be pretty obvious here. Obviously, you're going to need to set up little strategies to get rid of things. Unfortunately, I think Vigoroth, and if you poison them, they're going to just as well... Just as well, um, deal as much damage as you possibly can using this guy. While he's asleep, we just hammer him as much as we can. That's the strategy, at least. Unfortunately, Vigoroth kind of has that non sleep ability. Kind of makes him the only threat, ever, really. Come on, Swampy, take him out. Right now, this much shot. Oh boy, I sense a potion coming. He worked really hard to get him down, and now he's gonna heal it. He didn't heal slacking! Nice! Good job. Figure out the one we have to take out fighting head on. Alright. And he still has the other one after, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can do here. I really don't wanna risk too much here, but I think I definitely think Swamp is our best choice here. Alright, so Swamp is gonna slow it down and we'll be able to take advantage of that. By moving first, at the end of these three turns we should be the victor. Oh god no. Thank God. No! No, 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 no. Come on, Swampy, come on, Swampy. Oh my god. Did that really just happen? Did I really just get set up like that? Oh my god. Alright, Pilos, let's you're up. Now, all this Pokemon knows facade or facade, whatever you want to call it. So we're definitely going to rely more on the sweep them aspect and kill them. And that maximized HP is not something we want to mess with. I mean, attack is not something we really want to mess with, so we're not going to lose the switch out just yet. So that's going to think Pilo Slush. All we really want is the sweep. Now that the sweep's going to come on, it's like the Swamp to take him out. Whew, almost halfway through this video. Here we go. And even if Swampy doesn't get to take him out, Swampy should lower his speed enough for Black Dog to come in with a final hit. Alright. Alright, we got him. We got him. As long as he doesn't wake up next turn. Oh, or Norman can do that and make me say, ah, oh, crap again. Oh boy, I'm afraid. We're so close to victory. I can't give up now. Come on, Swampy, you can do it! One more beautiful hit like that and we've got him. Don't wake up. Yes! 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 Do it, Swampy, do it! 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 And that's how we do it! Kick it in old school! Yeah! Oh, I, can't, I can't believe it, right? I lost the ride? Who was I going to take this? Oh my god, I can't believe I just won that. And we get the balance badge from there. Whew, thank god. That was difficult, isn't it? With that badge, the offensive warrior Pokemon will increase. Pokemon that are HM moves and know the HM moves serve will be able to travel over. My gift to you, right? I'm sure you can use it correctly. And we get TM42 Facade. Thank god. Oh my god. I don't care if this video messes up. I'm gonna. Because I've been positive about it, so. 
I hope you played good because this really, really was an excellent video. Was excellent. I mean, I mean, seriously, this was, this was awesome. I honestly, I'm proud of myself for that victory. You misfits worked excellent. Please excuse for dragging you here this week. I don't want to become very healthy since you went to Vernon Drift Town. But all of you, when one left town, you helped him catch Pokemon, right? Isn't that made Wally really happy? Actually, not just Wally, it made me his father happy too. Captain has been such a great friend as you. This isn't a Bible or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. And we get HMO3, which happens to be my favorite HM in any Pokemon game Surf. Much better than Lava Surf, that's for sure. Okay, with that, we have beaten Norman. We have successfully beaten Norman. I honestly can't believe that strategy works. It's something I thought about in the last second because, you know, I haven't been studying this game for a while. But now, like I said, Marsham's moveset is pretty predetermined. There isn't much I can do to change that. I probably should have gotten rid of Bide, but who really cares about that? With that done, let's go ahead. Since we already lost once, we have to pretty much switch out every single Pokemon we have, except for the starter Pokemon, if you remember the rules. Well, not every single one. We choose the weakest set of Pokemon and continue on our way. Which, I have to admit, is going to be pretty challenging. Now, Slugman's at level 20 means he's the weakest out of any other Pokemon we have. You're at 23. You're at 23. You're at 23. You're at 24, which means you're probably going to be overleveled. You're at 23, you're at 19, which means you're definitely on. You're at 23, so it can't really say much for you. You're both at 22, which means anything at level 23 has to go. So yeah, Amasek is off the team. And you're also at 22, which means... Fatma Man is off the team as well. Alright, so that leaves our team like this. Weakest possible team we could have right now. Ain't that great? Ain't that stellar? Okay! Now, you guys are probably wondering what happened. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys are okay, but... My vacation was pretty annoying, I can say it for sure. Didn't get to go to any water parks or anything like that, like I usually do, but... I can also say that it was disappointing for me at least. There were a lot of things that didn't happen. I unfortunately had to go up with a spoiled brat again for the second year in a row, and I honestly can't say how displeased I am with that. I mean, there's only so much I can take, people. Oh, my name is blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to clean up my own mess. I really don't know why people like that exist. But I'm the kind of person who likes to wait, you know? For those people who believe they're all that... And nothing bad will happen to them no matter how stink they're gone, no matter how stripper they act. You know, those kind of people. I believe good things will come. And by good things... By good things... <laughs> oh, by good things. I mean, I'm just gonna wait it out. And as... Oh, crap. I'm just gonna wait it out. And as time passes... I expected that time, by the way. Time passes when they don't realize the path they're going on while well, I'm fixing up my little bad habit that I have, that I've realized already. And they're going on like the little princess they think they are when it comes to them how the real world really is. Oh, I'm going to enjoy watching them crash and burn. It's not a nice thing to say knowing that I grew up with this person to an extent, but saying, when you see people like that and you see them doing things like that, you just can't help but hope for the worst at times. Well, not really hope for the worst, but saying, you hope they get over it. But if they don't, they're gonna, they totally deserve what's coming to them. I mean, honestly, we all, we all think like that. Don't go ahead and think in your, I am mighty now, that you don't think like, we all do it. Don't think. Don't think we don't know, you do it too, you do it too. You wish all bad on everybody else. 
Anyway, back home in the sweet island of Beep and Live. Definitely think things are gonna be awesome now. In my second year, second and final year of college down here, then I'll be going off to university or getting a job. Either way, I won't be spending another year in this island after this for a while. Gonna be kind of sad for me, but I can manage. Now, my entire problem with these. Now, there are a lot of things I've been realizing too. Like, how dumb I realize. Now, I'm not gonna. Not to hate on any Republicans, but. I've seen Obama putting in a lot more work than any Republican actually has. So why is it that they want to say Obama failed at his job? I mean, let's be honest, people. If you look at it, if you look at it the way it's supposed to be looked at, like how they actually went down, you'd realize that every step of the way, every move Obama made, had been blocked by the Republicans. Good job, I'm lying. You're going down though. I mean, we can't not acknowledge that. I would just be saying, Republicans, you're right. Block Obama on every step and make our country suffer for the next four years. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I kind of hate America. Don't take it the wrong way. I just hate the fact that they think they're better than everyone else. When they are pretty much the youngest of the great nations that they want to consider one of themselves. I mean, when it goes to all the history that Japan, China, and all those other ones went through. You'd watch these guys and think, why are they going on like they're the dons? Where are they going on like they're the best? They clearly don't, they're clearly not in the standards of some other countries. Yet they're going on like, here we are, we're America, deal with us, we're the best. I know I'm not the only person who's annoyed by this. But what can we do? We usually take their crap and leave it at that. And finally, we have a line in here. I mean, most of our team is fully evolved. A great ball, too. Okay, back up to this. Okay. Oh, it's level 12. That's not bad. Oh, like I said, you guys watch the level of someone who's ordinary doing a, ordinarily doing a let's play and watch the level of the mystery challenge. Let's, guys, see what I mean. Level 20. Our strongest Pokemon is already stretched away from them. It's gonna happen like that a lot. That is the Misfit Challenge, guys. I don't know. Especially starting to hit the random encounters. Level 18. It doesn't know any water type moves. Good. But like I said, this battle, these things are gonna be pretty... I'm a slug. Anyway. Things are gonna get a lot more difficult. I mean, you guys saw how difficult Norman was. I mean, I honestly thought I wasn't gonna win and I'm gonna have to go through that training session and get a Hariyama. Your Hariyama is sweet, but as you can clearly see, that didn't happen. They actually won. And I am honestly not sticking around in this battle anymore. For some weird reason, every time I attack, I miss. But you know what? You know what, let's actually do switch, stick around. Let's see what this poison sting upsets. I'm out of this fight. Not even wasting any time. Of course you can't escape. Here we go. I don't deal with anything that deals with confusion actually. Now let's get ourselves healed up. So we can actually move on. He's gonna faint. Wow. Now, there are a few things that we have to do, actually. But, we're kind of running low on time. We did beat a gym in this part, which means, and we did do an important battle switch. The next important battle we have, well... It's pretty far away, which means this team is actually gonna shape up. As much as I hope it can. So, yeah. I think I can pretty much call this an episode. So, next time on Pokemon, <laughs> dude, that's gay. Stop trying to walk behind a man like that. That's not right. Anyway, next time, 
see him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's he's trying to touch me. Anyway, next on Pokemon Emerald, the Misfit Challenge. We will head on out to the next area, and I'll see you guys in the next one.